Yeah, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you very much. <laughs> now we're good. Give me a second, just give me a second. Good evening, you guys. How are you doing today? Good evening. How are you? Hello. Hello. I'm driving. Driving? Yeah, driving. Okay, it's okay. Wait a second. Ah, I have allergies. I'm sorry, you guys. Give me a minute. I'm sorry, you guys, but before starting, <laughs> ah, my allergies and, and, and I started sneezing. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay. Anyways, uh, welcome. Welcome to this. That is the very last session. This is the last class we're going to have. As you know, today we're going to do the survey. So, encuesta, right? We're going to do the survey at, let me see, I think it's 840. The time that is going to be the survey. Let me see. Yeah, 8.40. So at 8.40, it doesn't matter what we're doing. We're going to go right away with the survey, okay? Got it? Understood? Yeah, okay, perfect. So uh, let's start with today's attendance because it's time already. Oh, my God. Give me a second. I didn't open the attendance link. Okay, here we go. Oh. And I hope everybody has finished the platform, okay? I am hoping that today we don't have problems and the platform is completely ready because, yeah, as you know, today is the very last day. So I'm going to, when, when I finish the attendance, I'm going to go and check the, the platform just to see, okay? Wait, wait, but we have a few students. How many students are we? 17? Twenty-four. I'm gonna send a message. Okay. Dice. ¿Cuál es el enlace de la clase de siempre? Ya se lo voy a reenviar. Oh my God, what is it? Let me paste it. Wait a moment. Then we are. Okay, um, I'm sorry, you guys. Give me a second. Tal vez le tengo alergia a los finales de módulo y por eso estoy así. Okay, let's go. Adán Antonio Ramírez Aguirre. Present. Uh, Carlos Amilcar Campos Palencia. Present. Daniel Alemán. Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Edgar Edilson Reyes Portillo. 
um, Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Present. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Ceciliano. Present. Jonathan Stanles Pérez López. Present, Miss. Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. Present, Miss. Um, José Ernesto Alemán García. Present, Miss. Karen Berenice Castro Avelar. Present, Miss. I'm here, but give me a little, a few minutes, please. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Marco Antonio Vanegas Corleto. Present, Miss. Mario Antonio, Mario Antonio Reyes Berganza. Present. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Present, Miss. Ok, Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Present, Miss. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. ¿No está Miguel? Qué raro. Noé Aníbal González López. Present, Miss. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. <coughs> Present. Um, Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Present, Miss. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present. Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Present, Miss. Okay, so I was saying before, today is the very last class, so everything is done today. The last minutes, the last attendances, and the last time with the platform. So let's see, I'm going to check the platform just to see if we still have some students that haven't finished yet, okay? So let me see. I'm going to say the name, and if you're finished, okay, if you're done. Adan, Don, Carlos, Don, Daniel, Don, Edgar Edilson, Don, Edwin Alexis, not Don, Esmeralda del Rosario, Don, Gabriela, Don, Isela, Don, Jonathan, Don, Don significa como completado, ¿verdad? Jorge Ernesto Don, José Ernesto, no, 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 y le falta bastante José Ernesto, y ahora es último día, today is the very last day, Karen Berenice Don, Marco Antonio Don, Mario Antonio Don, Mario Cristóbal not Don, y también bastante, Marlon Fabricio Don, Okay, uh, Marvin Don, Mauricio Antonio Don, Miguel Ángel Don, Noé Aníbal Don, Noé Gabriel Don, <coughs> Salvador Orlando Don, Sara Raquel Don, and Sergio Adolfo Don. So I only have two students, only two who haven't finished the platform. That is uh, Jose, Ernesto, and... Mario Cristobal Quintanilla. Those two, they haven't finished, okay? So remember that I'm gonna send the last upgrade, bueno, la enviel, the last upgrade on Saturday, but I don't know, uh, I don't know, like, hoy no les prometo quedarme muy noche, pero sí, like, en la mañana puedo revisar, right? In the morning, I can check again and see if you have your grades. Okay, so <laughs> let's continue uh, with today's class. You know that the classes and the time connected is very important. But doing the homework is also important because it's 50-50, right? It's like when you go to school. If you go to school, but you don't present the homeworks, you don't do the exams. So, yeah. So, we have to do that as well. Okay. I would like to start explaining a grammatical topic. Okay. Thank you to the people that have the cameras on. Appreciate it. This grammatical topic, it's uh, when and if, 
okay? So when and if are two clauses that we are going to use to join clauses, right? Uh, clauses are sentences, but one of these clauses is an independent clause and the other one is a dependent clause, okay? So let's explico rapidamente, when and if. I'm gonna explain using, uh, using the board right now. <clears throat> Okay, so we're gonna talk about when and if to join clauses. Okay, when and if to join clauses. So when we are going to use it when something is certain, okay? If is a posi Possibility. I don't know if I wrote possibility right. I think it's possibility. Okay, these two, they have the same function, but one is going to help you, oh my God, with possibility, and the other one is going to help you with something is like a little bit more safe, certain, right? So let's see. Yeah, certain is correct. Okay, so let's see it like this. And also, what is a clause? We're gonna, for this thing, we're gonna need two types of clauses. We're gonna need an dependent clause and independent clause. Dependent clause and an independent clause. Okay. Let's do an example. For example, I'm gonna write here, when I wake up late, I arrive late to work. Okay. Okay, so here we have one sentence. I'm using when, Okay, this is more like a certain thing. We're talking for sure that this hap when this happens, this is the result, okay? So we are gonna have a result and a cause. También vamos a tener un resultado y una causa, okay? Dentro de una cláusula independiente, dependiente y una cláusula independiente, vamos a tener resultado y causa. So this is the cause. So this is the activity. Because of this activity, this is the result, okay? Now, here we have a dependent clause and we have an independent clause. So how are we going to identify them? Look at this. The dependent clause, okay, needs the independent clause to make sense. Necesita de la otra cláusula para que tenga sentido. Because alone, it doesn't make sense. Listen to the sentence alone by itself. When I wake up late, cuando me levanto tarde, what? What is the meaning, right? It doesn't have meaning by itself. You got it? Yeah? One. But one. then, yes. if I say, yes. I arrive late to work, that one makes sense alone, right? It makes sense, tiene sentido, it makes sense if I arrive late to work. Now, this is the dependent clause and this is the independent clause. The independent doesn't need a second sentence to make sense, but the dependent clause, it does need another sentence to make sense. Now, I can rewrite the same sentence, but in the opposite form. So first I say, I arrive late to work, when I wake up late. Okay. Do you see what is different here besides that being the other way, right? What is the difference between this sentence and this sentence? Can you see it? In the first, uh, the first sentence, 
uh, it's in two parts and the second the second expression is uh, only one expression yeah excellent Jorge. excellent thank you very much for pointing okay. that out yes it is true in this part you can see like there are two sentences but in both there are two sentences the only thing that is different in this we have a comma but in this one we don't have a comma why don't we have a comma because when is a joining word okay so when it's going to help me with the joining part of the two sentences but in this case i don't have a joining word because the joining word is at the beginning right so because it's at the beginning i need a comma to separate the two sentences in this case if you know right to um to have a sentence, we need subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement, right? So here we have subject, verb, complement, and here we have subject, verb, complement. So obviously we have two sentences, right, in each. But in this case, we have a joining clause that is going to join the two sentences. And in this one, we don't. So we need the auxiliary, which is going to be a comma, right? Now, I don't want you to make, to get confused. Okay. Siempre la cláusula dependiente va a ser la que lleve el when y el if, okay? Just for you to understand that. When and if, that is the dependent. Let's make another sentence. This one, we're going to make it with if, okay? If I... Okay, if I eat in... If I eat right now... No, 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 let's see, see. If I eat a lot in the morning, I'm not hungry at lunch. Okay, like that. If I eat a lot in the morning, I'm not hungry at lunch. Okay, again, let's pay attention here. What is the dependent clause? Can you see what is the dependent clause? The second expression. The second expression, this is the dependent clause? Yeah, miren, ¿cuál es yes. la dependent yes. clause? La dependent clause va a ser la que tenga when and if. ¿Cuál es la dependent clause? No, there are, not there are. First one. The first okay. one, la primera, okay. porque tiene el if, if. Okay. right? The dependent clause is the one with if. So, for example, if I say, if I eat a lot in the morning, es que si yo como bastante en la mañana, and I stop talking y dejo de hablar ahí, ¿tiene sentido? Does it make sense? No, right? It doesn't. But if this one does, no tengo hambre al mediodía, right? This one does. That This one has meaning by itself. Now, what is... The result. ¿Cuál es el resultado de esta oración? What is the result? If I eat a lot in the morning or I'm not hungry at lunch. What is the result? I'm not hungry at lunch. Correct. Correct. What is the cause? If I eat a lot in the morning, right? So okay. what is the result? I'm not going to be hungry because I already ate. Huh? Listen, pay attention to that. Now, this sentence I can make it the other way around. And I can say, yeah. I'm not hungry at lunch if I eat a lot in the morning. Now, but if I make that, if I do that, then I don't need the comma, right? Let's do it the other way. I'm not hungry at lunch. Oh, sorry. If I eat a lot in the morning. You see? It is the same sentence the same both are the same sentences but in this case i'm not going to need the comma i'm don't need the comma why i don't need the comma can you tell me why in here i don't need the comma huh. no lo necesito? why 
Because you have the dependent clause there. Exactly, because I have the dependent clause and I have a joining word, right? I have a joining word, so I don't need it. I don't need it, okay? Let's make another no. example. Let's make some examples. Oh, and listen, esto más adelante lo van a conocer como los condicionales, el ser condicional, el first conditional, second conditional, okay? You're gonna get to know them. But right now I'm explaining when and if with the zero conditional. ¿Y cuál es el zero conditional? Donde la, ambas oraciones van en presente simple. ¿Se fijan? Ambas oraciones van en presente simple. Again, let's do more examples. Uh, when I run for a long time, what do you think is the result for this? Can you tell me one result for this sentence? I feel so tired. I feel tired. I feel tired. Okay, very good. Good job. Let's think of another one. If I don't sleep enough, can you tell me a result for this? I if feel I, sleepy. I am sleepy in the morning, right? Yeah. Exactly. So you see, it is not complicated. This is not a complicated topic. It can be complicated if you don't pay attention, but otherwise it's pretty easy. Questions? No questions? Okay. So if you don't have any questions, I'm gonna give you okay, situations. I'm gonna delete this, voy a borrarlo. I'm gonna delete this, okay? If you wanna take a screenshot, you can take a screenshot. I'm gonna do it. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna give you situations. Drink, don't drink water, don't walk for an hour, don't practice English, oh, sorry, el audio Edgar, don't practice English, um, don't do the homeworks, And come late to classes. Okay. So I'm giving you five situations. Okay. Five situations. These are the five situations. Se las voy a mandar al chat de hecho. Aquí. A este chat de Zoom. Se las voy a mandar escritas. Así que pueden guardarlas. Ahí están. ¿Qué pasa? Okay. ¿Qué pasa si yo no hago estas actividades? Okay, or, or if I do these activities. What is the result? So you're going to make sentences based on the situations. Let me give you an example. For example, the situation is... Uh, drive to speak. Speak fast. So my sentence can be, when I speak fast, oh no, when you speak fast, when you speak fast, I can't understand you. 
You see? So what was the situation? Speaking fast. What was the sentence? So when you speak fast, I can understand. Yes? Do you understand the activity? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So these are the five situations. You're going to make sentences with your classmates. Let's see the classmates. They're going to be there. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Ahí tienen las invitaciones para que se puedan unir. You have the invite so you can join.
Así. You don't approve the course. I think. You don't approve. Okay. Come away to class. I don't know. We, we... What do you think? Hi. Hey, help Karen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi, me. Hi, are you speaking alone? <laughs> no, I think not. <laughs> not alone? No. <laughs> People are in this. We have an Adan Antonio. We have Esmeralda. Right? Mauricio Cesar is oyente. Ayudémosle, class. No me digan yes, no. If I don't drink water. See, for an hour, I feel healthy. Okay. If uh, we don't practice, we can't. Okay, quítale el tú, porque ese tú está de más. Okay. Es un verbo este, modal. I can't learn. If you don't do the work, you don't prove these curves. And when I wake up late, I come late to pieces. Good job. Okay. Todos participaron, el día solo es de car. Okay, okay, excellent to everyone. Now you can practice reading para mientras yo califico los otros, right? Okay, thank you. We have to fill a form. Yes. You can see my background. Ah, uh, vamos a ver. En la segunda oración dice when I walk for an hour. El sujeto de la primera oración es I, ¿verdad? Yes. Y el de la segunda? Eh. Ah. It. Ah. Oh. Uh, I. It, pero no lo veo. No. Antes del it. Uh, I, it is good for my health. I, uh, it, I, I, I will be healthy. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I will be saludable. Ahí me está hablando, este... En futuro, y le dije que era en presente. When I walk for an hour, I am healthy. Ok. If I don't practice English, I will never learn to speak in English. But English, recuerden que siempre es mayúscula. Y ahí lo tienen. Okay. When I don't... When I don't the homeworks. When I don't the homeworks. Me hace falta un verbo ahí. Miren arriba cómo lo escribí yo. I don't do the homework. Oh. Okay, <laughs> okay that's different. Bueno, espérenme que yo creo que ya tenemos que ir a. Oh, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Sorry, ya tenemos que ir a, a, la, a, la, a la encuesta. 
Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, people. You guys, sorry, 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 but we need to do the survey right now. So I'm going to start with the survey in this moment, okay? Um, we mm -hmm. The activity we were doing, we're going to finish doing it when we finish the survey, okay? Okay, everyone, let's get ready. Let's see if I am still missing some participants. Let me see. There are some participants in the breaker rooms already. Okay, anyways, so as I told you guys before, at 8.40, we were uh, due to do the survey. So I'm gonna start speaking a little bit in Spanish right now, just for everyone to be clear about the activity we're doing in this moment. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. So this is the situation. Uh, vamos a hacer la encuesta ya. Eh, va, yo creo que ustedes ya tienen el correo, si no es el correo será el WhatsApp. Y vamos a ver ahí un poquito sobre el video, sobre la información de cómo enviar la encuesta. Yo sé que ustedes ya lo saben. I know that you know already. Pero este, siempre hay que hacerlo así para evitar cualquier error que tengamos, right? So, let's see. Let me, I'm going to share the video with you. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Let's pay attention and then we go with the survey. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en la información que hemos compartido. Y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera, vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos. Y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. 
De igual manera, vamos a colocarle tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. Punto número 11. Las evaluaciones que ustedes serán, las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En este caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Y es así como tú debes desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. En este video... We don't listen to your microphone. <laughs> Sorry, I was speaking. Not the first time. Okay. Uh, let me see. Okay. You got it already, but in case you don't, that is the link. Si no lo tienen por ahí, ese es el link, ¿verdad? Vamos a iniciar acá. Eh, dice... Comparto pantalla para que puedan ir viendo lo que estoy haciendo. Okay. Here it says... Eh, empezar entonces con el número o I mean con el la orden de inicio que es esta que está acá copiamos yo se las mando aquí al chat y pegamos y me voy aquí a la respuesta de satisfacción y al inicio lo primero que tengo que hacer es eso copiar y pegar el código de inicio ok luego el nombre completo Debería aparecerles ahí su nombre completo. Pueden copiarlo y pegarlo. Si no, pues entonces lo escriben. Ahí está. Correo electrónico, el que han proporcionado, ¿verdad? Con el que está escrito su correo. Escriben ahí su correo electrónico y su número de celular. Punto 2, 3 y 4. Información personal de ustedes. Nombre, correo y número de celular. Ok. Estoy tiempito ahí, pero estamos all together haciendo esta actividad. Ok. Luego si ya van pasando ahí abajo. Vamos a llegar al punto 5 que dice sexo, femenino o masculino. Usted elige. ¿Verdad? Punto 6, departamento donde usted vive. ¿Verdad? Donde vive. ¿En qué departamento vive usted? Selecciona. Y ahí en la eh, opción 7 le va a dar la opción de, de escribir el municipio. En la 6 seleccionamos departamento, 7 escribimos municipio de residencia. Luego dice empresa donde trabaja. Aquí quiero que presten mucha atención en la empresa donde trabaja 
porque no es el nombre de la empresa, sino que es la razón social. Si usted conoce la razón social de su empresa, excelente. Si no, me dice para yo poder ayudarle. ¿Ok? Está en el punto 8. Si no conoce la razón social de su empresa, yo aquí lo tengo un listado y les ayudo. Luis, Universidad Doctor José Matías Delgado, please. Uh, Jorge. Yes. Sí, así está escrito. Universidad Doctor, José, Doctor Matías Delgado, dice aquí la razón. Bien? Ya se lo envío, Jorge. Se lo voy a enviar. Okay. Sí, lo tengo escrito acá yo. Luis, me ayudan, por favor. Eh, Tecum. Mario Antonio, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto. Mario Antonio Reyes. Técnica Universal Salvadoreña. Ok. okay. Bueno, se la voy a mandar, se la voy a mandar ahí al chat privado también, para que usted okay. una vez solo le dé copia y pegar. Eh, Mario. Me ayuda con el mío. Ahorita, ahorita. Antonio, ahí le mandé Mario Antonio. Marco Antonio. Yes. Marco Antonio. Ahorita lo envío ahí. Ahí está. Miss, okay. you help me. No me perez. Noé Pérez, Noé Pérez, Noé Pérez, Noé, 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 Gabriel. Y yo creo que es el nombre de su jefe, pero ahorita se lo mato. Noé Pérez. Esa es la razón social que me parece, mire, Noé. Sorry, teacher. Eh, excuse me, the, the name, caps lock, eh, Activate. Me lo puede decir en español. Me lo puede decir en español. Perdón. El nombre en mayúscula, minúsculas o todo en mayúscula, el nombre completo. Si quiere, así como lo he mandado yo. Si copia y pega. Copia y pega. El nombre personal, o sea. Oh, su nombre personal. Eh, sí. No, no inter, indiferente. Si quiere, todo okay. en mayúscula para que todo vaya uniformemente. Gracias. Okay. Sara, me decía, perdone. Sí, me ayuda con el mío, por favor. Sara, 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 Sara. Sara. Gracias. Ahí está. Y Karen, Karen, ¿le ayudo con el nombre de la empresa? ¿Quiere saber, Karen? Sí, sí, por favor. Ahorita mismo. Karen, 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 ¿dónde está Karen? <ríe> ah, qué interesante el nombre de su empresa, Karen. North Atlantic. Ok, ahí está. Miss, me ayuda con el mío también, por favor. Ok, vamos a ver, Esmeralda. A las doradas, dice. Ok. Ahorita le ayudo, ahorita se lo mando. Ok. Ahorita solo lo copio y lo pegue. Esmeralda. Ahí está. Gracias. Bueno, un segundo que me metí donde no era. Ok. Ok. El nombre Pero... del curso con comillas o sin comillas. Con comillas, si quiere, cópialo así. Yo lo he copiado así, literalmente. Desde inglés principiante, módulo 5. Yes. Lo puede compartir en el chat, por favor. Gracias. Como le simplificó la vida, ¿verdad? <risa> Gracias. Muy amable. Ok. Ok, bien, cuando ya llegamos, esperen, hemos llegado aquí al municipio, empresa no trabaja, el proveedor, ustedes ya saben que es inglés corporativo, aquí está, inglés corporativo Regal International, ese van a seleccionar, nombre del curso, el que les he mandado ahí, copiar y pegar, esta evaluación es personal de ustedes, ¿verdad? Aquí si seleccionan el primero es que califican mal, o se les ha 
este, dado la clase. Y aquí, excelente. Tienen cinco aspectos valorativos. O sea, cinco opciones. Vaya, fecha en la que inició el curso. Sabemos que fue el 30 de octubre. Ok. Vamos aquí con las flechitas, puedo dirigirme. 30 de octubre. Le mandé mi sí. razón social, mis... Ah, déjeme ahorita. Déjeme Creo que sí, pero... Déjeme un chancecito. Ahorita se lo busco. Grupo, eje... Sí, literalmente sí, correcto. Muy bien, Sergio. Ok, el 30 decíamos que inició el curso. Finaliza el día de hoy. Solo se dan clic sobre el que ya aparece seleccionado. No vayan a finalizar la encuesta sin tomar captura. Recuerden que tienen que tomar captura la parte donde dice gracias y mandarla al chat que tenemos de grupo. Poner su nombre completo para que ya se sepa que usted mandó eso. ¿Okay? Manda la foto y en el pie de foto pone su nombre completo. Que a veces su WhatsApp no lo andan con su nombre identificado. ¿Cuál es su nivel de satisfacción? Aquí es cómo se siente con respecto a todo lo que ha recibido, a la atención y todo, ¿verdad? Satisfecho, insatisfecho. Y aquí este es opcional. 15 y 16 son opcionales. ¿Ok? Es si usted quiere mencionar algún curso que le gustaría, eh, pero eso es opcional. Un comentario también es opcional. ¿Ok? Todos los que aparecen con este puntito rojo son campos obligatorios que tenemos que completar. Recapitulando, el código, ¿verdad? El, el orden de inicio. También tenemos... Ahí ya tienes, ya está mandando esmeralda. Nombre completo, correo, celular, sexo, departamento de residencia, donde usted vive, escribe el municipio, empresa donde trabaja, usted ya sabe que es la razón social. Cuando inició el curso, inició el 30. Cuando finaliza, Cuando finaliza, finaliza hoy. Finaliza hoy. Hola, Miss. Hola, Miss. Miss, todo se me borró. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? No sé, le di enviar y aquí me ha parecido todo que debo de iniciar otra vez. ¿Vuelve a iniciar? Vuelve. <risa> Sorry. Sorry. José Ernesto, ¿tiene una pregunta? Sí, fíjate que siempre lo he hecho desde el teléfono y no se abre. No sé qué estará pasando entonces. Si quiere le envío otro link, que va a lo mismo, pero es otro link. Aquí lo voy a compartir. Ahí está. Igual se lo puede enviar al WhatsApp. Bueno, pero ya están mandando las capturas de pantalla al WhatsApp. Gracias, gracias. Okay. Okay, siempre pongan su nombre abajo, ¿verdad? Recuerden, no, no se les olvide ese punto importante. ¿Y por qué se están desconectando varios? Solo vinieron a la encuesta. Oh, my God. Aquí tenemos a Jorge Ernesto también. Mis, cuando, cuando inició el curso, perdón. 30. ¿Dónde? 30, 30 de, octubre. de octubre. Aquí está. 30 de octubre, gracias. Ya vio mi background picture. Yes, I saw it. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna miss you, teacher. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you guys too. Thanks. Yeah, we hope to see you or listen to you in another group on another model. Maybe that can be. Sometimes that happens. Que me pasado. Yeah. This okay. this case is special because it's the last course of, of 
of the year, right? Because I believe, no sé si lo van a llamar por otro, solo que empezaran only if you start on Monday. Or like, no, espérame, si empiezan el lunes, tienen una, dos, tres, you no, know, no acabarían para el, antes de Navidad. No. Aquí vamos a partir el pavo. No, we... Please. Yeah. Después de, de gracias. It's... Toma la captura de pantalla y la manda al WhatsApp, ahí donde dice gracias. Ok, thank you. Okay, ahí tengo más participantes, ya quedan sus respuestas. Okay, I'm waiting for some still. Okay. Okay, we're going to continue you guys. Um solo les estaba dando ahí un, un tiempito. No sé si ya finalizaron todos. I don't know if you finished already. If you haven't finished. Se quedan acá, ¿verdad? No se van a la Wait a minute. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now we're gonna make uh, sentences with if and when. No, right, we did this already. Ya hicimos esto, vamos a usar esto. Okay, we're gonna do this reading. I'm gonna read it for you. If you have questions, you can ask me, okay? What is a policy? A policy is a predetermined course of action, which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's vision and their day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of policies as a globe where national boundaries, oceans, mountain ranges, and other features are easily identified. What is a procedure? The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out or implement a policy. A well-written procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstandings, on, I mean, misunderstandings by identifying job responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events 
in advance. M, prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where the trip details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off. An acceptable path identified by the company's management thing, team. Do you have questions about pronunciation maybe? Pronunciation strategy. Strategies. Strategies, okay. Another one. What is the mean of what is the meaning? What is the meaning, sorry, of boundary? Boundaries? Boundaries, yes. Okay, boundaries are like the limits. It's a synonym to limits. Yeah. Okay. If there are no more questions, then I'm going to send you the pronunciation. I'm going to send it to audios, okay? Wait a second. What is a policy? A policy is a predetermined course of action, which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between organizations and organizations, perdón, sorry. What is a policy? A policy is a predetermined course of action, which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's vision and their day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of policies as a globe where national boundaries, oceans, mountain ranges, and other major features are easily identified. I veo que me mandan una imagen sin nombre. <clears throat> Write your full name, please. What is a procedure? The ultimate, sorry. What is a procedure? The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out or implement a policy. A well-written procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstandings by identifying job responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a road map where the trip details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off. An acceptable path identified by the company's management team. Okay? So we're gonna practice reading right now. And then we're gonna come back. Do we understand the activity? Yeah? Yeah. Remember, as much as you can practice, Jorge, 
What is the mean uh, roadmap? What is the meaning? Meaning, yes, sorry. Roadmap is a map for the road, for the street, <laughs> for your for your trip. Yeah. Okay, I think that is like uh, planning to work or activities. No. No, it's a roadmap. It's a road, like a like a map in the route. Okay. Okay, thanks. Let's go. There you have the invites. Ahí tienen las invitaciones para que puedan ingresar.
part identified by the company's mag magnamen team. Okay. Management. Ah, más, más, ¿cómo es, Miss? Management. Ma manage. Ma yeah, management. Ah, management team. Management. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Management team. Thank you. I... What is a police? A police is a predetermined policy. Okay. A policy is a determined course of action which is established to provide a way towards towards accepted basis strategies and objectives. In other world, it is a direct link between an organization vision and their base and their day to day operation. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to this decision or implement a policy. A well written procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstandings by identifying job, re job responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making for from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where there are three details. What is the policy? A policy is a predetermined course of action which is established to provide a guide Tower accepted using its styles in objectives in their work. It is a direct line link between organization in their day the day operation. Policies identify the key activities and provide general style. Study to this, this decision, decision maker in how to hardly use as the aides. This is a complex by providing the rider with limits in of choice or alternatives that can by use it to kill is established to provide a good to what accepted business strategies and object additives in other words it is a direct link link between an organization vision and they day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision mark. Hello, you guys. Just to remind you that I sent you a voice uh, note and you can listen to it. Pueden escuchar el audio. I send you an audio. Pueden escucharlo para que la pronunciación les ayude un poquito. Ok. So you can listen to the audio para que mejoremos pronunciation. Yes.
Okay, welcome back. So here is the situation. I know, I know English is difficult. Yes, I know. Because I was learning English, uh, I don't know, like a few years ago. I started learning English in 2011. And it was so difficult. And I was like, oh my God, I cannot understand it. It's difficult for me. It's, I don't know. Actually, I had nightmares. Do you know what is a nightmare? <clears throat> yes. Okay, so I had nightmares about words in English. I was going crazy for learning English. So it was difficult. I know it's difficult. Believe me, I know. But it is more difficult if you make it more difficult, right? So when you have the chance to go and practice and you don't practice, it's like when you got the chance to go to the gym, but you don't exercise. It's Good like, example. Uh, well, what are you, like, no, I'm imagining that I'm doing exercise so I can be fitness. <laughs> Yo también me imagino que hago ejercicio, but I'm not fitness, right? Nothing is going to happen. If I want to get my dream body, I better work for it, right? You have heard like in the shirts that said no pain, no gain, right? Yeah. So the same thing with English. If you don't practice, you won't speak English. So that's why a lot of people say, hey, um, if I listen English, I can understand, but when I have to speak, exactly, because most of the time in the class, you listen to English, right? So it's easy to understand. But ¿cuánto del tiempo que estamos aquí? Do you speak English? How much time do you speak English? Very little, right? So what is the thing? When you have the chance to go and speak English, you don't do it, right? So that's that's something that is gonna be difficult. And I'm telling you this because I wasn't born speaking English, no. I learned English when I was 18 years old, but I didn't like it. So maybe I started learning English, I don't know, when I was 20, 20, 21 years old. So if you count the time, I have been speaking English for what, eight years? eight years yeah i have been speaking english only for eight years right i'm not an expert but the thing is that i practice and the more i speak because i speak with you the better i get but there's no point on me improving my english because i'm already a professional on my area right the thing is i just have to keep on going so i don't lose my english because you can lose english yeah you can lose your level that is very, and, and it's proved. Yeah, it's true. Actually, it happened to me. Yeah, you see, English yeah. teachers, we have, like, we should have to do the TOEFL exam every two years. Because every two years, your English level can be different, very different. So, what is the thing? What am I trying to tell you with this? So, if you don't practice, if you don't push yourselves to speak, you won't speak. That's why, por eso es que tenemos un montón de familiares en Estados Unidos que llevan 20 años viviendo allá, pero solo vienen y dicen, oh, mira, mira, oh, oh, sí. Like, they don't, they, that's the only thing they say, right? That, the only thing they say is la baica, el mall, eh, este, like, uh, la aseguranza. That's the, those are the bus, things. They, those are the things they say, right? Those are the only things they see. And why do they say that? Porque del bus, el bus, ahí viene el bus. But because they don't try to speak English, right? They get together, Latino llama Latino. They get together with Latin people. And what do they speak? Spanish, right? So do you think they are going to speak English just because they live in the United States? No. No, that's not going to happen because if you don't practice, like, Si yo entrando a Estados Unidos se me cambiara el chip, así como en la hora del, 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 del teléfono y del reloj cambia entrando a otro país, like, it was amazing, right? Now I can speak English. If I'm in Germany, I can speak German. If I'm in China, I can speak Chinese. 
Ah, <laughs> that's not how that works. So what am I trying to tell you with this? I give you the chance to practice, okay? I'm not trying to be like, like a mother, like a dad, like, and to say, like, you should be practicing. No, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to make you understand that in the mouth, we have muscles. Porque si me da un derrame cerebral, no puedo hablar. Porque los músculos se me atrofian, ¿verdad? So, what do I need? to speak English, Practice. to train my muscles, yeah. right? The muscles that I use to speak Spanish are not the same muscles that I use to speak English. English. Not at all. Por lo menos no en la misma posición, right? Not in the same position. They are different. You see, in English, in Espanol, yo hablo así como... In English, I have to say the words, right? which yeah. is different. Now, you are going to be in a break, maybe for a month in December, right? Maybe you're gonna be in a break. If you don't practice English, you're going back, right? So what do you should do? In this month that we're gonna be like off, don't be like, ay, que galán, que ya no tengo clases. No, right? La cosa de ser adultos, you guys, Y es que eh, eh, es una cosa muy impresionante. Yo acabo de descubrir este mundo de la adultez. <ríe> no me gusta. I don't like it. Pero es que uno se tiene que poner límites. Ahora no va a haber un papá que va a venga, venga y le diga, ¿y ya hiciste la tarea? ¿Y estás practicando todavía? Nobody is going to tell you that. Nobody. ¿Quién, le va, ¿quién se va a obligar a ser mejor y si aprender? Like you. You're the ones that are going to make it. Right? Yeah. No va a venir su esposa y le va a decir, ah, Hoy no estuviste practicando inglés. Mm, hoy duerme en el sillón. Right? And no, she's not going to say that. No one's going to say that. Right? Who are the ones that are going to make it for you? Yourselves. Right? So, my advice, try to watch cartoons in English. Don't watch TV series that are too complicated with the vocabulary. And then you will be like, no, I don't understand what they are saying. Of course you, want, you don't understand. Right? You're not a doctor. You're not a lawyer. You're not a police officer, like detective. Ay, que yo estoy viendo, fíjese, este CSI. Estoy viendo la, este, Dr. House. Pero no le entiendo cuando dice el ácido desoxirribonucleico. No le entendí. Right? How are you going to understand that? ¿Cómo van a entender eso? Right? So what do you have to do? To try cartoons. Right? Now, again, to practice pronunciation, do this. Ahí están mis audios. <laughs> Ustedes tienen mis audios. Espero que no estén de chato esos audios ahí. I hope so, right? Los tengo bien guardadito. Exacto. Good job. Yo les digo a mis papás que vamos a hacer una palabra clave. Porque mi voz está tan <laughs> en el mundo, en YouTube, like it's tough. Porque si no les puedo hacer una llamada con mi voz, no. Hay una palabra clave. Ok. This is the situation. Escuchen mi audio y después grabense ustedes diciendo lo mismo. Do you think it is the same? And look, I'm not a native speaker, right? So my English is not the best one. Now try to do it with an audio of a native speaker, a person who was born in the United States. Listen to it to the audio and then play, like record an audio yourself and listen. It's the same, right? Porque aquí en la mente uno dice, ¡Eh! no hombre, se me acaba de ocurrir una frase perfecta para decirla. Y cuando la voy a decir. Yeah, I don't know how, right? I don't know how to say it. That's because we listen. You listen to me, right? And I, and I believe you understand what I say. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yeah? So, so? Okay. You're understanding. But if I want an opinion and, and I ask you an opinion, you're going to be like, um, um, and this and that, um, um, right. You're going to try to think in Spanish, translate, and then speak in English. That's a problem. But you know what is the funny thing? You can turn that off and you can start thinking in English. Because when I speak, I think in English. I don't think in Spanish anymore, right? It was difficult. It was really difficult because I had nightmares in English. I told you already. 
but it is possible, right? And I was an adult already. I started learning English, I told you, when I was 18, pero no le puse atención until I was 20, right? I didn't pay attention until I was 20. When I was 20, I was like, okay, I want to learn English and stuff, right? So when I went to the United States, my English was bad, was horrible. Yeah, horrible. Ya les he contado historias. I told you stories about my trip in the United States. I was saying things that I didn't want to say. So what did I do? I lived with a United States family, right? People from the United States. So if I wanted something, <laughs> I had to speak English. Spanish, they won't understand. They wouldn't, right? So now, please try to watch TV series in English. Si tienen niños, pónganle programas de niños in English. Like play the programs, like, like, like the TV shows, the cartoons in English. Try to do it. Y miren, con el niño ustedes van a ir adquiriendo el vocabulary, right? And it's a win to win. It's a win win because the the kid is learning in English and you are learning English, right? Try to play songs, the songs in English. Like sometimes pegajosas, they are really like catchy. That's how they say pegajosa in English. They are really catchy. So you are going to be like, nah, 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 nah. unconsciously, you're going to be singing in English, okay? So try to do that. Try to practice English while we are in vacation, right? Like Christmas. Try to learn vocabulary about Christmas in English. Like, yo sé que probablemente de aquí, tres o cuatro personas van a intentar hacer un poquito de lo que les estoy diciendo, pero eso ya es un ganar para mí, right? That's a win for me. And you're going to say, no, prof, no, miss, like, I'm sorry, pero fíjese que a mí se me hace más difícil que a mis compañeros el inglés. Por eso ya no. No, what are you saying? No, what? Si se me hace más difícil, me voy a ir y voy a hacer nada o tengo que hacer más. I have to do more, right? If it is more difficult for me, then I'm going to try to do more because if I don't, no me voy a poner al nivel de ellos, right? I was not the smartest. Yo no era la más inteligente. I was not the smartest um, girl in my class. I was not. No, I was not. I had a classmate. She was really smart. She was really intelligent and she was doing the homeworks and all the stuff. And I was like, eh, yeah, a little bit lazy, right? But when I heard that there was a, an opportunity to travel to the United States, if you were really good in the class, I was like, okay, I want to be good in the class because I want to travel. You, need, you see, I had a motivation, right? What is your motivation? Porque están aquí, right? You, you, have to, you have to remember that. Porque no se, no se, vaya, la motivación no se pierde. Lo que pierden es la disciplina, right? Y para ser eh, persistentes en algo, tienen que ser disciplinados. Si no son disciplinados, nothing is going to happen, ¿verdad? Yo, yo tengo la motivación de bajar de peso, pero yo no me pongo a correr. Yo no dejo de comer. Yo no voy a bajar de peso. <ríe> ¿Qué tengo que hacer para bajar de peso? Disciplinarme. Disciplinarme. Y si no me disciplino, no lo voy. Y a mí nadie, ahora ya nadie me puede detener. Si yo gano mi propio dinero, yo me quiero comprar una hamburguesa, me la compro. Right? Si quiero dormir en la tarde, duermo. Pero puedo correr. Y se lo digo por mi ejemplo, este es mi ejemplo. Yo podría correr, podría comer saludable, but I don't do it because I don't have the discipline. So what am I telling you this? Please be disciplined. Y se los digo porque probablemente, no sé si les voy a volver a ver más adelante, pero si no le vuelvo a ver, quisiera, me pasó con un estudiante, y lo voy a decir así en español rápidamente. No sé si los he contado con ustedes. Este, yo gané mi plaza de gobierno, ¿verdad? Fui a unas capacitaciones que estuvieron dando en San Miguel. En San Miguel me encontré con una muchacha y se me quedaba viendo. Estamos en una misma mesa y se me quedaba viendo. Y yo como, estoy casada. <ríe> y se me quedaba viendo un poco raro y se ponía a reír conmigo. Y yo como, oh, hola. Entonces al rato me dice... Mm, usted es la teacher Diana y yo sí y yo fui su alumna y yo ¡Oh, de verdad cuándo y me dice en inglés corporativo y yo de verdad sí este fui del este en la pandemia fui del principiante 3 me dice ahí y yo ay mire se los prometo de verdad por favor se los pido de todo corazón si me ven en la calle si algún día dicen qué creída no salúdenme yo tengo 40 o 80 estudiantes por mes o sea mi mente pff, right 
así que háblenme, háblenme. Pero el punto es que me, yo no la recordaba y ella, la muchacha me habló. Y le digo, ¿y cómo va? ¿Ha seguido? Este, ¿Ha seguido practicando? ¿Ha seguido estudiando? Y me dice, ya estoy en avanzado cuatro. Yo me sentí, se lo digo, o sea, es, es que es una sensación bien bonita saber que ustedes ya avanzaron, right? I am working already, yo ya trabajo de inglés. El día de mañana ustedes me dan otro grupo, me dan otro grupo y yo voy a seguir con otros grupos, ¿ya? Yes? Pero ustedes, si uno de ustedes, dos de ustedes, tres de ustedes de aquí llegan al avanzado, yo siento realización. Digamos que ahí podría decir que mi vocación ha sido cumplida, ¿ya? Yes? Más que el pago efectivo, este es un pago emocional que me va a llegar, uf, right? Que ustedes logren algo, right? Y tenía un estudiante que ella le iba muy mal en el inglés. Y le dije, yo era peor que usted. Si usted cree que es mala, yo era peor. Yo decía, I lied in El Salvador. ¿Cuál es lo correcto? Díganme ustedes. I promise. I am from, pero ¿cómo diríamos lied? I, I live. I live in El Salvador. Yes, yeah. I live. Ok, pero yo decía I live. ¿Y saben cuántos años tenía de ser estudiando inglés cuando decía I live? Two years. ¿Ustedes cuánto llevan estudiando inglés? Five years. Five years? Yeah. Ok, ok. Pero tal vez ha dejado y por eso ha vuelto atrás. Yeah. Yeah, ok. That's the situation. Ok, so in my case, I spent six years studying English. Six years. And if you had listened to me, si me hubieran escuchado seis años atrás, se quedaran como, híjole, ¿verdad? Qué feito habla. A saber de dónde salió esta profesora, right? So, what am I saying this? Si yo pude mejorar, si yo pude hablar inglés, si yo ahora todo mi trabajo, y qué bonito se siente ejercer de lo que uno se graduó, ¿verdad? Este, si yo todo mi trabajo lo baso en inglés, todo, todo mi trabajo lo baso en inglés, o sea, todo lo que yo hago, y no tengo un trabajo, tengo tres, tengo cuatro a veces, y todos los hago en inglés, ustedes pueden. Ustedes pueden ser mejores que yo. You can be better than me. Porque a mí me tomó seis años y uno en Estados Unidos. You see? So for you, it will be easier. Tal vez algunos de ustedes llevan six months, one year, or something like that. So what I'm trying to say is, please, please, um, remember what is your motivation and don't lose the discipline. Yeah? Because in that way, you're going to achieve your goals. Ya, van a llegar a completar esos, esos, esos um, objetivos que tienen. The goals you have. Pero sí, sí, como no lo digo pensando en español, ya después no sé cómo decirlo en español. <ríe> so, you're going to achieve those goals. ¿Y usted qué va a decir? Y esta cipota, cipota, qué bonito que me digan cipota todavía. Esta cipota de 29 años, ¿qué me va a venir a contar a mí si yo ya sé más de la vida que ella? Well, yes, sí, técnicamente sí. But in English, I know more, right? <ríe> in teaching, I know more. Solo de verdad quiero, de verdad quiero, quiero de todo corazón que ustedes logren eh, poder hablar inglés, that you learn how to speak English, y un día en el futuro me los encuentre y me digan, Miss, ese es mi, ese es mi objetivo, escuchen bien, me digan, Miss, ¿se acuerda cómo usted decía esta palabra? Y yo, sí, 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 me acuerdo. No se dice así. Se dice así. Ahí ustedes van a ser mejores que yo. You know what I'm saying? It, it, mi, mi propósito es que sean mejores que yo, ya un alumno me pasó, me dijo que castillo no se decía castle, se decía castle, y yo lo aprendí de un alumno, yo aprendo de mis alumnos también so one day, one day un día los voy a ver en el futuro, and you're gonna tell me that you speak English now yeah? yeah excellent, good job, ok you guys let's go with the last attendance because it's time already and I know we all wanna go me mira okay. Adán Antonio Ramírez Aguirre Present. Carlos Amilcar Campos Palencia. Present. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Edgar Edilson Reyes Portillo. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Ay, muchas gracias a Inglés Corporativo por patrocinar esa charla. <ríe> Esperalda del Rosario Portillo García. Present. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Ceciliano. Present, Miss. Jonathan Stanley Pérez López. Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. Present, Miss. José Ernesto Alemán García. Present, Miss. Karen Berenice Castro Avelar. Present, Miss. Marco Antonio Vanegas Corleto. Present, Miss. Mario Antonio Reyes Berganza. Present. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. 
Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Present, Miss. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Present, Miss. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. Present, Diana. Noé Aníbal González López. Present, Miss. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Present, Miss. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Present, Miss. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Present, Miss. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present. En Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Present, Miss. Okay, that will be it for today and for my turn. I hope to see you later on. Espero verles en el futuro. And then you say, Miss, I can speak English now, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Take care. Well, bye. 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 No quieren irse. Madre Cristóbal. 